When you think of the old settlers and the gunslingers and the boom towns, maybe all that comes to mind. But amongst these were another group of men who worked to keep the peace. They were called the Buffalo Soldiers. And as Mitch Album shows us, one man is making sure their legacy is not forgotten in the heart of Detroit. Jimmy Mills has an admiration for horses that began as a child. There was a gentleman that used to pick up metal and stuff, and he had a horse and cart. That was back when I was about seven years old. What is it that you love about horses so much? They have a spirit about them. They can feel what you feel. At the old mounted police station in Rouge Park, Jimmy uses his passion for horses to reenact and enlighten people about the history of the U.S. Cavalry's Buffalo Soldiers. Without the Buffalo Soldiers, there would have been a lot more chaos of the settlers going west. These are ex-slaves, so they made excellent, well-disciplined soldiers. They were given all the worst of the worst from the military. The horses were the worst, the weapon trees were old, but they excelled at everything that they did. From 1866 to the early 1890s, the Buffalo Soldiers served in the Southwest and the Great Plains. They had a distinguished record. In fact, 13 enlisted men and six officers earned the Medal of Honor. And they served for a country that didn't always respect them back. They built towns they couldn't go in. They protected the railroad. They protected the stagecoach. Once we understood their involvement in our country, you know, well, we want to be a part of this. Bringing the long history of the early West to the city's youth, Jimmy Mills and the modern day Buffalo Soldiers are riding proud here in the heart of Detroit. Wow, great story. And joining us now live in studio is Mr. Jimmy Mills. Thank you so much for being here. Well, well, thank you for having me. <laughs> this is so wonderful. So how can people come to learn more about the Buffalo Soldiers and what you do? Well, we're located at uh, Ruich Park. Mm -hmm which is at the junction of uh, Joy Road and Lasher. You can't miss it because we're surrounded by lots of white fence and naturally the horses are out. Okay, mm -hmm. and do you feel that this is a part of American history that is not mentioned often enough? This is part of the history that's probably never really been mentioned that much until Colin Powell, General Colin Powell uh, dedicated a statue to the Buffalo Soldiers. Uh, once that was achieved, then information on the Buffalo Soldiers started to come out from the cracks and crevices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's it like for you when you put on the uniform and think about what those men went through 150 years ago? It's emotional. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, I, I can't imagine what they went through, but I can see that racism still prevailed then, even though they were military but they were dedicated soldiers. They were getting paid for the first time for their duty. And again, you know, they built towns that they couldn't go in. Yeah, that's you know, a lot. So the life was entirely different, but still the old South was there. Mm -hmm. But they still showed up every day and did what their duty was. And did it good. And did it good, that's right. You know, they, they were brilliant at learning. Mm -hmm. Even though, I guess the concept that blacks don't learn mm. during that time, but they were brilliant at what they did. That's beautiful. That's why they were recognized by the Native Americans as Buffalo soldiers. Okay, all right. Now tell us about the horses really quickly. Uh, we have uh, eight horses at the location, all privately owned, all a part of the uh, Buffalo Soldiers Organization there. Uh, all of them are lovable to kids. They love kids, so. And it's good for the kids, too. Some of them may not have ever had a chance to be up close and personal with a horse. And that's why we're there, to get that opportunity for kids to be up close, personal, and to feed them. Yes. Matter of fact, the horses enjoy them coming around because they know somebody's going to bring a treat, so. All right, that's a good thing. <laughs> Mr. Mills, thank you so much for being Absolutely. with us today. Absolutely, thank you. 